Hey everyone, how have you been? So I just felt like doing a little chatty vlog today um, because I've not really been feeling great um, recently but um, firstly I just wanted to say that I really love and enjoy getting comments from you guys like it really makes my day and it's really interesting to to know what bits you know people like and which bits that you you know thought weren't good enough or needed some different direction and you know it's all really helpful so I just kind of wanted to say that I want you to leave comments like I know a lot of you out there are watching um but I'd never hear from you and I you know I'd love to hear from you it'd be great to know you know what you think and and how how it makes you feel so leave comments I'd really appreciate it it's super helpful and really nice um so the reason I've not been feeling well is I kind of almost broke my shoulder last week um a few days ago and uh, luckily I didn't break my shoulder but you know it was close I, I've never broken a bone before but that was the first time where I, I was like this has got to be broken this is not right this doesn't feel right um, and yeah I slipped off my skateboard when I was going quite fast on a ramp um, it was like, it was, um, I dropped in off maybe like an eight foot uh, flat bank and it wasn't that angled, it was quite like, I don't know, like about that kind of gradient um, and dropping in down that was fine, it was just when I went up the kind of like ten foot quarter pipe in front of me and tried to kind of like fakey back down, come back down backwards the board just kind of like slipped, slipped out from under me um, and I went down, went down the, down the ramp like that on my arm so it really hurt there, this is my good arm that I'm showing you with, this is my not so good arm but uh, yeah it has started to feel better um, but I've still got to be kind of careful, I can't stretch too much and I can't really carry anything with that arm, nothing heavy, you know, um, so I've spent a lot of time just kind of chilling, um, I've watched a lot of stuff, been binge watching things, I really hope you can't hear that construction, um, there's a bar space just kind of like outside my window most of the time it lies empty like no business that's opened it has managed to make it successful which is a shame um but it's been it been closed for i don't know maybe a year and a half two years and now somebody's just bought it out and they're working and setting up to open up something there and that's what the noise is so yeah i've been watching a lot of stuff um in my time, um, a lot of movies, um, I've watched loads of uh, Emma Roberts films, um, I kind of really like her at the moment, um, I think she's really good, I think she's very natural, really kind of simple in her you know decisions that she makes and I think that's, that's really watchable she's like quite enigmatic um, and has like a I don't know an air about her that's just really watchable um, and I know she's been working for a really long time since she was a kid like on Nickelodeon which is where I first saw her when I was a kid um, but yeah I really like her so I watched uh, what should I watch I watched Paolo Alto, the James Franco movie, 
um, The Art of Getting By, which has uh, Freddie Highmore in it as well, from Bates Motel. And what else of hers did I watch? Something called It's Kind of a Funny Story, which was okay. It wasn't it wasn't as good, I didn't enjoy it as much as Paolo Alto. Um, doesn't mean it wasn't as good, I just, I guess I just didn't enjoy it as much. Um, but TV wise, uh, I'm waiting for the full season of um, American Horror Story to come out so I can watch it just all the way through. Because uh, I've learned that with American Horror Story, I find it really quite scary. So if I don't watch like the first five episodes straight through, the mystery of the unknown really scares me. And I, and that whole wait, like in between, you know, however many weeks it is between the episodes, I'll just be really scared of whatever the scary thing is in the show that season. So I have to wait for like most of it to come out before I can really watch it. Because I'm a bit of a wimp like that. Um, what else do I watch TV wise? Um, I watched the whole first season of Wayward Pines with um, Matt Dillon and Shannon Sossaman. Um, and that was really good. Like, I love mystery. I've decided mystery is my favourite genre. Um, anything that has a mysterious element or a mystery that unfolds I really like so I guess that fits into a lot of different genres like sometimes that might be a sci-fi or it might be um horror or you know it could be a comedy too but like mystery I like a lot and um, so the thing about Wayward Pines that I thought was cool was that the setting was visually like very stunning and um, it really reminded me of Twin Peaks. I don't know if you've ever seen Twin Peaks or whether I've mentioned it before but Twin Peaks and like trippy weird lots of mystery um, and set in like a small town in America so yeah I really liked that. I did. What else did I watch? I watched Eye Zombie the whole like first season and the half of the second season which was quite funny didn't love it but I enjoyed it and um, I enjoyed watching it and before I hurt my shoulder I'd been to the cinema loads uh, this month well in October I, I saw lots of things at the cinema um, I saw The Lobster the lobster was awesome. I really liked it. It was so weird. Like I can, I can tell it's not a film that everybody would like. It's really, really weird. And um, it's set in like either the future or some strange parallel dimension. And um, but it's really funny. But then it's kind of heartbreaking at times and. I don't know, it's a mixed bag, a really mixed bag, and there's a huge cast, there's loads of actors in it, and I like that. It's a real big ensemble cast, um, so I'd recommend that if you've not seen it. Uh, I saw Crimson Peak, which was okay. It was visually absolutely amazing, and I really like Mia Wasikowska, I think she's great. Um, as you know, is the others that are in it, Tom Hiddleston and is it Jessica Chastain, I want to say her name is, um, and Charlie Hunnam, who is from Manchester, um, I really liked him in it actually, I don't know, I just really like him, I always remember him in, um, when he was in Queer as Folk um, in the 90s and I'm, you know, I'm so glad that he's doing so well. Um, I guess he's in Sons of Anarchy now as well, forgot about that. Um, Crimson Peak, yeah, it was kind of like a, a thrilling sort of period.
period drama. I wouldn't say it was a horror, um, which I feel like it, it was kind of sold as in the sort of marketing of it. it they kind of made it seem like it was a horror and it was out, you know, around Halloween and stuff, but it wasn't, it wasn't a horror. Um, it really wasn't. It was more like a, a kind of story, a period drama story with thrilling moments and elements. Um, not as creepy as Pan's Labyrinth. Um, and I saw Suffragette, which is amazing. Amazing. So good. And it was like, you know, you hear, you, I've read about suffragette movement and, you know, we were taught it at school and, you know, there's a museum that I work at in Manchester where they have like a big whole, you know, exhibition on the suffragettes and stuff. And, you know, I've, I've heard and read and learned so much about it, but seeing it, you know, visually represented like that. Uh, was completely different and just so much more heartbreaking than just reading about it um, like they did and I think they filmed it really well like with really good style um, and lots of you know sensitivity to to the subject matter and um, you know what the what those women you know went through to to you know speak up and um, like for example there was um, this scene where you know starts off as like and not as a protest but, but a peaceful sort of demonstration um, and then it you know turned ugly all of a sudden and um, these like police police officers, like male police officers, just like beating these women completely, just like battering them. Um, and that was like really, really quite shocking to see, like really, really, really grim. Um, but you know, it was like that. It's not, it's not a complete exaggeration. It was like that. And uh, it's just kind of really, shocking to see it in that way but that's good right they did a good thing and uh, you know it's good to have these kind of stories put in film as well um so what I saw Macbeth I had a little list of the things that I've seen so I don't forget uh, Macbeth was good um yeah it was I've only ever seen four Version, four versions of Macbeth ever, um, two live and two films, um, and I think this one, this M Macbeth the film was one of, one of the best out of the four that I've seen, uh, just done so artsy, but in such a kind of subconscious way, and I think that's really clever. Because to make an artsy film, but it not feel like overtly artsy, is a really hard thing to do, and um, the you know it's a fine line, and it was just done so delicately and well. Um, I, d I also saw, like I've read it quite a few times, and you know I've seen it a few times, um, but I saw you know dimensions in in the story that and the characters that I hadn't seen before made me think about things in a different way, which I thought was very good, very powerful. Um, and Michael Fassbender is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. He brought something to the character that I'd never seen before, and you really see his kind of like emotional journey with it um, throughout. It was very good. Um, and what else? Oh, I was I was on the news um, a couple of weeks ago. I was on the news, the national ITV six o'clock news, um, talking about skateboarding um, and about uh, women in skateboarding and how it's still quite a sexist uh, environment in a lot of ways and 
you know, uh, there's probably a lot of girls out there who want to learn to skateboard but might be put off by it, um, as, you know, I was for such a long time. Um, yes, we had like a little three and a half minute segment on the six o'clock news a couple of weeks ago, um, talking about that and trying to encourage, you know, more women to take part in, in sports and in sports that are, you know, previously maybe male dominated and, you know, just to not let the fact that if not many women do it, that's not a reason to not do it if you really want to do something, whatever that thing is, you know, just because people seem like, oh, you know, it's not really something women do, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it if you want to try it. Um, so it was really nice, it was really interesting to be involved in, it was very, uh, like, sort of empowering, um, and it was nice to be able to do something for a cause that I really believe in. Um, yeah. Oh, and then also I did, um, I was in an advert for um, something called Veganuary, which I'm not sure if you've heard of, but it's a campaign for people to try going vegan in January. Um, it's called Veganuary. Their promo came out at the beginning of the month on Vegan Day. I think the 1st of November. Yeah, I think it was on Vegan Day. Um, but that's on their, I think on their Facebook um, and their website if you want to see it. I was only in it for like a few seconds, but uh, yeah, no, it was fun. Um, really nice project and I really like vegan food. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it myself in terms of, you know, in January. Uh, but yeah, I like vegan food. I, I'm, I cook it sometimes and, you know, some of my friends are vegan, I've got some family that are vegan and it's something that, you know, I, I really enjoy. I do enjoy. Um, and yeah, well, I've been talking for a really long time now, so maybe I should go. But uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.